Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be continuing to work on the environment for our game. Now if you watched the last video you will have noticed we created this basic little environment here with some BSP geometry. And what I'm going to be doing in today's video is just taking that one step further and adding a dynamic element to it. So you can see things have changed a little bit more. All I've done is added a little set of steps here and I've also set, added a higher platform up here as well for the player to jump onto. Now what we're going to be doing in today's video is creating a basic moving platform that will take the player from up the top of these stairs onto this rock and then the rock will move up and then to the left and carry the player to the finish line to the door where they finish. So let me go ahead and press play and I will take you through some of the obstacles that we've got in here so far and I will put you onto the platform you can see exactly what's going down. So you can see the platform sits there for a couple of seconds, it waits and then if we jump onto it, I missed that there, it will take us to the top. So give it a couple of seconds to come back down and then we'll see exactly what's happening. So let's just walk onto it and now if we stay on here it's going to take the player up, it's going to move them to the left and then we can walk off and we can continue the level and that's exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead and start creating that. Now first things first before we can create any kind of moving platform we need to keep in mind that we need to set up our level for it so we need the player to be able to jump up the stairs onto the platform and get on there. So I've set up my stairs already, just go ahead and do the same for you. Um, the way I've done this is just simply a set of linear BSP stairs, we'll be changing that later on uh, when we're actually decorating the level a little bit. And then I've also got my platform up here. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly delete all the elements that I've created already so we're back to basic where we was. So just ignore these few steps where I'm just deleting some script and let's get into it. So. We're on the same page now, let's go ahead and get an object that we can use as a platform. Now if you've downloaded all of the Infinity Blade assets like I have, there should be a lovely little block that you can use to make float and take the player up. Now that block that I'm going to be using is in here, so that's going to be Infinity Blade, Grasslands, Environments, Miscellaneous, and then Static Mesh. Once you've done that, just go ahead and drag it in. Now, bear in mind, you can use any static mesh you like. It doesn't have to be a block, it can be a proper platform, it could be a lift, it could be an elevator. Whatever you guys use, it's entirely up to you. But for me, I'm just going to be using this basic little block. Now, with this block selected, I think this is going to be a bit too hard for the player to get onto. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set the scale up to 2.5 by 2.5 by 2.5 and hopefully this way the player should be able to jump onto it a little bit easier. So I'm going to place this here and then once I've done that I'm going to quickly press play and I'm going to make sure the player can actually jump onto this. So if I press 2, jump over this with my little gravity boost, I can now walk onto this and I can't really fall down the edges um, so that should be working perfectly fine as our platform. Now we need to get it moving and the most simple and the easiest way to actually get this moving is going to be to use a matinee sequence. We don't need to worry about using any fancy sequencer stuff for now or using any complex blueprints to get it moving, um, we're simply just going to create a basic matinee animation. So with this little object selected, go to cinema cinematics and then add matinee legacy, give it a couple of seconds and it will load up this little interface here. So we need to do a couple of things. So first things first, select the, select the little box and we need to create a group so that we can start working with this. So right click in the tracks area in this little grey section on the left and add a new empty group. And as soon as you do that, you can see it's actually going to convert that object to a movable so that you can actually move it later on. As far as the group name goes, I'm just going to call this platform for now. Once we've done that, I'm also going to add a movement track as well. This movement track is just going to allow us to add a bunch of keyframes and getting it moving in 3D space. Now if we take a look at our little timeline here, you can see we've got one keyframe already at the zero mark and then there's nothing else. So what we need to do is animate this over about three seconds to get the player going up and then to the left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by animating it upwards. So I don't want it to sort of fade across here, I want it to go up in a straight line and then left. So what I'm going to do is over a second and a half, 
So I'm going to drag this over here. I'm actually going to press enter with this little selection tool and then it's going to create a second keyframe at a second and a half. Now, once I do add that keyframe in and with it selected when it's orange, you can see it actually says adjust key movement in the bottom left. And you can also see a key movement over here as well. What, says, what that is telling us is that we can actually move this now and that will set the keyframe position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this up all the way up here and that is going to create my keyframe. So basically that little line you've got underneath there is telling you how it's going from position A to position B. Now you can just keep adjusting this as many times as you like and it will just go to that position. So let me show you. So if I go, go to stop that will take us to zero seconds and then at 1.5 seconds we've got a second keyframe and it's just going to fade between the two when I press play. So you can see it's fading between position one and position two, which is quite nice. So having said that, what we need to do now is we need to create another keyframe, which is gonna move it all the way over to here for the player to get to be able to jump off and get off this platform. So once again, I'm gonna move another second and a half, and then I'm gonna press enter. And then from there, I'm simply going to move the platform across and all the way over to the little concrete block that we've got here. So now you can see it's going to go up and then it's going to go to the left and that's exactly what I wanted it to do. So once I've done that, press stop, press play and let's watch this in action and you can see it's looking quite nice. Once I've done that, I need to tidy up my matinee. So the way I'm going to do that is simply just drag these little closing bits in here and this one as well. Make sure it's fully covered. You don't want it to go over either, but for now that is going to be good. However, if I just go ahead and press play now with this matinee in here, it's not actually going to start moving. It's not really going to do anything. So we need to tell this to move inside of our blueprints. So let's go ahead and do that. So the way we're going to do this is inside the level blueprint. Open up a level blueprint, give it a couple of seconds to load. And then from here, we need to start off by adding in some kind of event um, for, the, for the engine to know when it needs to fire it off. Now we want this continuously moving and we want this to start moving from the very first time the player begins to play the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then I'm going to type in event begin play. And what this is going to do is fire off anything at the start of the game that we hook up to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to tell this to play the animation for matinee. So select the little matinee actor that we've got here in our scene. From there, right click and then just simply type in play. And then we just got to hook up the little execution pins just like this and that is going to play it. Now this is only going to play it once and it's also not going to make it come back down. So we need to do a few things to make sure that happens. So what I'm going to do is after it's played, I'm going to add in a little delay so it stays in place a little bit um, when it's up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have it stay in place for about three seconds when it gets up there so the player can get back onto it and go back down if they want to. And the same goes for when it's going to be sitting here. We're going to have a slight de delay of three seconds. Now, I'm not actually going to put this delay as three seconds for a very good reason. I'm actually going to put this to six seconds. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is actually going to start the delay as soon as the play execution has been played. So what that means is even though it's still running the animation, the delay is going to be ticking down. And because the animation is three seconds already, I pretty much need to add this onto the delay here. So I'm just adding, so I'm just putting a delay in for six seconds and you'll see that will work. So once I've done that, what I'm going to do is after it's sat in place for a little bit is I'm actually going to tell it to reverse and go back down now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my matinee track once again and then from here right click and simply type in reverse and then I'm just going to hook this up just like that once again we're going to add in a little delay so it stays in place delay duration is going to be six seconds and then from there we just need to make this loop and the easiest way to do that is to simply just hook it up into play just like that and that's just going to keep running over and over and over itself from the beginning of the level so Let's go ahead and press play and check out how all of this looks. So if I go ahead and run all the way over here, so all the way over to my platform, at the moment you can see it's up, it's going to sit in place for three seconds. After three seconds it's going to take me up, it's going to move me to the left, I can jump off.
gives me a couple of seconds if I want to I can jump back on it and it's going to take me back down again and that is pretty much everything for our platform I hope you guys have enjoyed it you can experiment with this you can add other movement tracks you can add lights sounds particle effects it's entirely up to you guys once again thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out